This is a review of the Harbor Freight 212cc gas engine, 6.5 horsepower. I got this to uh, replace the Briggs & Stratton engine on this little wonder blower. Now, this blower is ancient. Uh, it doesn't look like it now because it's got a new engine and I painted the blower housing. Uh, but it was old and uh, messed up. The prior engine was uh, damaged when uh, it had developed an oil leak and the oil level became low and uh, one time I didn't check it, ran it with low oil and ever since then it never developed full compression and never regained its full power. So for the last few years I've been using it with uh, maybe 60-70% of its original power. I've been getting by with it, but then I thought, wow, I had this coupon for this Harbor Freight motor that was $99. Uh, I said, well, what the hell, let's give it a try. So I took the old engine off and put this on, and uh, uh, it works great. Um, it has its original power back. Uh, I've got to say that uh, it's loud as hell. Uh, the, those ratings where it says 104 decibels at 20 feet are accurate. I verified it with a Radio Shack uh, sound level meter and <laughs> it's right on. And that means add another 10 decibels or figure 114 decibels if you're standing uh, next to the blower because I don't know how many of you run your blowers by remote control but I have to push mine <laughs> which means I've got to be right here and it is loud as hell uh, but it's powerful and when I thought back about the blower when I originally got it I mean I bought it used 20 years ago so the thing's probably at least 25 years old uh, it was loud as hell then and I think it was not quite as loud when it had lost some of its compression from its damage and could uh, no longer operate at full power. So, um, uh, I will take the camera and go around this motor. So, looking at it from this point of view, and over here and over here now one thing uh, the motor has a three-quarter inch shaft and the blower housing in the old motor had one a one inch shaft so I did have to buy a an adapter from uh, Amazon to adapt the three-quarter inch motor shaft to a one inch fan impeller shaft. Uh, that was a real chore, but it got done and it works. The other thing to get it to work on the um, blower, this muffler would not clear the blower housing. So I had to um, uh, pound the muffler with a hammer to. Uh, make it a little narrower in that section and then I used a uh, uh, angle grinder with a cutting wheel to cut the protector the heat shield on the muffler back uh, again to clear the blower housing uh, that did put a slight crack in the muffler which I sealed with Permatex muffler and tailpipe sealer All right, to operate the blower, you turn the fuel valve on here, you turn the choke there, you turn the throttle about one third the way up from idle to fast, 
And then this red switch over here, you flip to on. And then you pull the chain. That's idle. I just turned the uh, fuel valve off, the engine switch off. I'm leaving that on run. The throttle was already turned down to idle. Uh, I had an audio problem here where the cord became disconnected from the camera, but this just shows the leaf blower blowing the leaves that it it actually worked and the leaf blower is functioning fine. So this is just a slideshow showing what the blower used to look like before the motor was replaced. Uh, that's the old motor on it now, the Briggs & Stratton 5 horsepower engine. You can see the paint was all rusted up on the blower housing. Uh, here the fan is being disassembled, removing the old engine from the blower. That was the crankshaft bolt from the old engine. I removed the throttle control rod because the new Predator engine has the throttle control built right on the side of the engine, so it wasn't necessary. You can see the one inch shaft coming out the old motor. Uh, I screwed up here and I should have used a three quarter inch bolt initially to remove the fan. You screw that in and it pushes the, the um, impeller off the crankshaft. And I, not knowing what I was doing, uh, put in a longer crankshaft bolt and got it jammed in there. Uh, when I realized what I did, I got the right size bolt and got the impeller off. Since the old bolt was jammed in the old motor, it didn't really matter because the old motor was just thrown out anyway. Yeah, I tried to save the decals, but that didn't work out too well. That's the muffler that, I, that you see sealed over with the Permatex muffler and tailpipe sealer. That worked pretty well actually. It's rated to 2000 degrees. Uh, that's the old motor taken off. The motor just attaches to the frame with four bolts. 